guys, did you see me fly my hoop glider? Yep, I made it and it's pretty easy to make it too. It's a super fun toy. Well, you wanna see what it looks like up close? Well, this is what it looks like. Now, you're wondering, hmm, how does this fly? Well, I'll tell you, but first, let's make our very own hoop glider first. So you'll be needing a few simple things. Index cards, or you can just use, well, an A4 sheet of paper, and then cut it out about to this size. So yeah, there's lines on the other side too. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So we need index cards, tape, scissors, be careful with them, and, one straw, but I did for a few extra. I don't know why. It's not a few, it's a lot of extras, but you'll be just needing one. And here's the thing. If you have paper straws, that works, but if you have these bendy straws, you can decide that, hmm, as you can see on this one, I have ex like fully expanded my straw to be the max size so i can do that with this one too like that but here's the thing you can decide where your hoops can go it's better if they're the ends and it's also better if they're farther apart so i've tested that if it's like this well it's not gonna fly very well because for one thing it's gonna fly way too fast and go out of control immediately crash, and that's what happened to me. And it's pretty sad to see your hoop ladder crash. So, what I always do is take this and extend it all the way, like I did with this one. As you can see, it's way longer now. Okay, so, now, let's do this. Before we learn the science, or tell you how does this thing fly? It's just hoops and a straw. Well, I'll tell you. So, let's keep all of these million straws aside and only take one straw. Next, let's take two index cards out from this deck. Like so. First, let's grab, I don't know, let's take about three pieces of tape. Now, let's take one index card and fold it. So, first let's keep this vertical, like that, and fold it like this. So it's a nice and big hoop. So, not like this. This is not what we'll be needing. We'll be needing this big of a hoop. So, let's take some tape and tape it. I have a smarter idea. This is the big hoop which we have put on this. So as you can see, they are the exact same size. So this is what we'll be keeping the back of our hoop glider. So if you have a bendy straw, you'll know that this is the back and this is the front. Because this part, which has the part makes it get bigger so let's make it very long like that and then take this and then stick it on so now it's not really that hard to stick it on so you should be able to do this by yourself and make sure you don't put it in the middle of the straw or anything like that so it has to be straight at the back. Make sure it's perfectly aligned with the end of the straw, like that. There you go, 
you have your back hoop. As you can see, they're exactly the same so far. Now, all we need to do is make the front of the hoop. Now, let's just take another piece of index paper and then this time fold it like this. You know what? I'm gonna do what I did for the bigger one. Stick it down like that. Take another one. Stick that down over here. And now turn it into a hoop. And boom, here we go. We have the front of our hoop cutter. Let's take another piece of tape, stick it about here, take another one, stick it about there, and then let's make sure the front of our hoop glider is secure by adding two pieces of tape, because this one will be longer. So, nope, this is not aligned with the one in the back. So now here's the thing. If this one is on this side of the straw, well, straws we don't have sides because it's a circle, but like if it's up here, make sure you don't put your front of the hoop glider down here. Make sure you put it the same level. So the front of the hoop glider, you can say is kind of hard, but practice makes perfect. So now, here's the thing. First of all, I bet your hoop glider or your very first hoop glider will fly way better than your very first paper airplane. Because paper airplane also has science behind it, but it also depends on your folding abilities. But this, all you need to do is basically form any kind of circle. As you can see, mine has tiny bit of a tip like that. It doesn't really matter. It's because there's a science behind this and that's the only thing that will ever make it fly. Other than of course, keeping a fan behind it and adding rocket engines and then wings and then putting metal around it, turning a remote control toy airplane. But if you can't do that, well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so now, as you can see, we have the two hoop glider. Okay, you have to have two or more hoops on a hoop glider. You experiment around by putting a third hoop over there, or putting a hoop on top of this and top of that. You can do lots of stuff and make this a longer engineering project than you expected it to be. So you can figure out which one is best and write in the comments below that which one worked best for you. Putting two rings on top of this, adding a third ring, or making your straw super long or putting the rings pretty close you can try lots of stuff but i'm not going to show you all that you can experiment around that by yourself so as you can see this hoop glider both the hoops are very far apart but i can make the space shorter if you have a bendable straw and experiment around and also now I'll tell you the science behind it. Just a straw with some hoops on it flying. I know, it's pretty shocking when I first learned about them too. So I'll tell you how this all works. First of all, you need to know how this thing stays in the air. So when you throw your hoop glider, air goes on top of the hoop glider and the reason why they're hoops is because the air will go inside the hoops, both of them, which will lift your hoop glider up into the air. But eventually, of course, your plane will slow down because that's all of kinetic energy it had left. So then the air going through the hoops will start getting slower and then the plane will slowly descend. Okay. 
so now here's another thing you can do. So as you know, Shaw is also a hoop. So air can travel through that too. So now, since my straw is on the outside for hoops, you can try something and put it inside of hoops. See if there's any difference. Comment in the comment section down below. So I'm gonna read them and reply back. Okay. So now you wanna know how this thing stays in the air. This thing can stay in the air in control because the front hoop is smaller than the one in the back because this thing creates speed and well, it makes it go straight. Gives it stability and makes it last quite a lot. Now the back is you can call it the exact opposite. The back creates drag. So you know what drag is. Well, if you don't, let me explain to you. So, hmm, how does this ever happen to you? So you're in a car and then a car really fast goes by, vroom. And then does your car ever shake? Well, if it does, that's because of drag. So that means the item is not aerodynamic. So if you know that all fast cars are usually low to the ground and they have a streamlined shape. But as you can see, this hoop gutter is not streamlined and does not look like it can go fast. But that's why this one is smaller. The only reason you have this is to make your hoop ladder stable and not go too fast so it goes out of control. So like, we're going on a turn and you go really fast, vroom vroom, oh no, it's out of control. And then you end up crashing on your bike, which then you get hurt. Well, that's kind of the exact same thing. That's why the front of my old hoop ladder has that, all those marks at the front so it's all flat. Now, as you can see, hoop gliders are probably, if you made it for the first time, it might not be as great as when you made it the second time. But, if you make your first hoop glider and your first aeroplane, your hoop glider will probably go way farther and may be more successful than your paper aeroplane. But, there you go. The surprising thing that hoops with a straw on it can apparently fly, <laughs> thanks to Mr. Science. Now I'm just showing through it one last time. Whoop! That was really good. 